Congratulations to the George Washington Geckos for winning this year's IFL Football Championship title. 12-0 over the Father Duenas Friars. The championship game lived up to all the hype as both teams came out with aggressive play on defense. GW managed to score a touchdown in the second quarter when quarterback Brendan Santos hit Adrian Cruz in the corner of the end zone. FD quarterback Jawan King kept the chains moving, hitting his receivers for nice gains. Hank the Tank Sablon put his team on his shoulders late in the game and ran in for the game's last score here to seal the deal for the Geckos as they were crowned the 2014 IFL champions. The head coach Ryan Riz coming up with six. The championship trophy for the high IAAG 2014 men's football championship. Guam hosted the 16th annual Micro Cup Outrigger Canoe Sprint Races last weekend at Hotel Santa Fe. The cup rotates between three hosting islands, Guam, Saipan, and Palau, and returns to Guam every three years. Seven nations competed at this year's event, Guam, Saipan, Palau, Yap, Pompeii, Hong Kong, and Japan, with a total of 500 paddlers filling Guam's beaches. The Micro Cup Outrigger Canoe Races was founded to increase the caliber of athletes in our region and has grown to be one of the most competitive races in Micronesia. With the success of the Cup, it has increased the level of competition for three island nations at an international and Olympic level. It also promotes water safety, cultural awareness, and a healthy lifestyle. Custom Fitness in Inigua held a fundraising event called Barbell for Boobs. It is a nationwide CrossFit event that raises funds for mammograms for women in need. The trainers at Custom Fitness put their own spin on it, incorporating Olympic lifts, strongman, and metabolic conditioning. Most CrossFit boxes on island participated at the event with the level of competition, as well as camaraderie and community spirit at a high. There were kids of all ages getting in on the fun and enjoying the day with family and friends. All proceeds from the event will be split between Barbell for Boobs and Guam Cancer Care. Turning to national news, the Kansas City Royals send this year's World Series to a Game 7 after beating the San Francisco Giants 10-0. Kansas City scored seven runs in the bottom of the second inning, breaking out the sticks early. Lorenzo Kane went 2-3 for three at the plate with three RBIs and scored a run. Norichika Aoki finished 1-3 for three with an RBI in the win. Yordando Ventura got the win on the mound with four strikeouts and gave up three hits in seven innings. Jake Peavy took the loss. On the mound for the Giants, Game 7 will be held in San Francisco tomorrow.